Good morning everybody, Mark Belford here from Hitch Chef Academy. Hope you're all well, you're all keeping safe. I'm here again with my able assistant Zane. Zane, say hello. 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 Um, today we're going to be doing Rocky Road. Um, we've got some rogue little bits of, you know, Easter eggs, chocolate bars and little bits of random sweet bits that aren't really enough for a mouthful or two. So we're going to put them all together to make 10, 12 portions of something. So we're going to just stretch our ingredients a little bit further today, okay? So for Rocky Road, you will need 225 grams of chocolate, either broken up or the little pistols. You'll need 200 grams of mixed chocolate. Now we have got today some Smarty eggs, some mini eggs, other eggs are obviously available. Uh, we've got a crushed penguin bar that we have left over from the lunchbox bits and bobs. And we've also got a crushed little chocolate wafer bar that I found and that made everything up to 200 grams. So you can really mix and match whatever you're gonna put into this dish today, okay? We have got 50 grams of raisins. Again, we're just knocking about the cupboard, seeing what we can find. If you've got dried cranberries, if you've got some nuts, whatever's your taste, whatever's your preference. You can even put popcorn in there. It does divide opinion on mouthfeel though. Uh, we've got 100 grams of rich tea biscuits that we've just put into a little polythene bag and we've bashed up. We've not made them to a powder. There are some bits that are a bit chunky, some bits that are a bit powdery, but that all is nice in the mouth for feel. We've got two tablespoons of syrup. Now, I didn't have any golden syrup, so I've used two tablespoons of honey. Again, I'm just going through the cupboards. I don't want to go out today, and um, we're just trying to use up what we can effectively. I've got two tablespoons of drinking chocolate powder. Can use cocoa, um, but again, I don't have any, so I'm just using a standard drinking chocolate powder. And we've got 100 grams of marshmallows that we've just chopped up. We have the big ones and we've just broken them down and we've just chopped them up nicely. So the first job that we've done today already just to save a little bit of time on the camera, is we've melted the chocolate. Now you can do this over a very gently simmering pan of water. You don't want it boiling ferociously, you just want everything to melt down, okay? So the chocolate, and there's 100 grams of butter in here as well. We've just melted that down slowly. We've added the cocoa powder, or chocolate powder, and we've added the syrup to it now. And Zane's just gonna give it all a mix. This recipe is fantastic. It is a five minute process of gathering everything you need get the kids involved, get them weighing up, obviously supervise any hot bits. If you don't want to put the chocolate over a pan of simmering water to melt it down, as we call in the trade of bain-marie, put it into the microwave, in short 30 second bursts, let it rest for 30 seconds, and just see where you're at, it will melt down together, okay? Okay, so Zane is just gonna mix all this chocolate powder and butter together in this bowl here. And that's it, Zane. So he's just gonna just get all that together. We don't want any bits of powder in there. We don't want any bits just knocking about because once that pops in the mouth, it's gonna be a little bit gritty and horrible. And that's perfect, Zane, well done. So now I'm gonna hold the bowl up and Zane is gonna scrape all of the chocolate into the bowl. There we go, using the spatula. We don't waste any chocolate, do we, Zane? No. No, absolutely not, it's Easter. But this is a really nice recipe just to stretch what you've got. You say you can do this white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, a combination of all three. Just follow the, the rough guidelines on the ingredients and you'll be absolutely fine. You can even put cereal through this. It's absolutely fantastic. And there we go. Zane's obviously left a little bit in the bowl because I'm sure as soon as we turn the camera off, he's going to lick that off later, aren't you? No. No? Can I have it then? No. No? Oh, charming. Right, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. So, as simple as this, we go in now with all of our ingredients. So, marshmallows in, biscuits, raisins, and the best bit, all of the chocolate. Go for it. So Zane's gonna mix that all together. It's gonna be nice and crunchy. It's gonna make a wonderful noise. The kids are gonna love it. It's really colorful. It's really pretty. What we do then is we put it into a tray. Now what I've got here, so just working around Zane, I've got a little baking tray. I've put two sheets of cling film in it. From experience, if you put one in, what tends to happen, it'll tear and you don't want to be eating cling film, do we? So I'll put that there ready. So Zane's just brought that all together. Everything's coated, but when you cut it, it'll be really colorful, it'll be really pretty, it'll be really beautiful, I promise you. I think we're there, Zane. Right, if I hold the bowl up, and you can scrape it into the bowl, please, Chef. Into the tray, sorry. That's it. Do I get this bowl? 
I get this bowl, yeah? Oh, fine. Looking forward to it. If you come over with a spoon, though, you'll, you're you not getting any, you know that. Sharing's yeah. caring. Sharing's right? caring, absolutely. And as we said before, we're working at home. We've made sure our hands are washed. We've got our aprons on just to keep ourselves clean and tidy because the washing machine is not going on today. All our surfaces have been sanitised as well. So Zane's going now going to just push this into the corners of the tray very quickly. That's it. And you need to compact it down. And if you don't, you run the risk of, oh, it'll chill beautifully, but it might all just fall apart. So if you can compact it, you'll be able to get lovely slices out of it, okay? So Zane, that is fantastic. If you can just push down the top, we can show all the lovely people what it looks like in the tray. Might not look the prettiest now, but I promise you it'll taste absolutely fantastic. Wonderful stuff, Chef, thank you very much. So that's the Rocky Road now compacted into the tray. That will go into the fridge for three hours to chill. Just make sure you don't put it near anything high risk. You put it out of the way of anything in case it's gonna raise the temperature of your fridge. Okay, um, we'll see you back in three hours to portion this up and we'll try some. So three hours has elapsed. We waited incredibly patiently for this, really, really patiently. Voila, Easter egg, miscellaneous store cupboard, chocolate bits and bobs, lunchbox biscuits, Rocky Road. Out of the ingredients and the portions that I gave you earlier, we have got 15 squares out of it, which I think from an economy point of view is not a bad little effort whatsoever on stretching what you've got in your cupboards already. We are going to go and sit outside with a cup of tea and we're going to enjoy a slice of Easter Rocky Road. We hope you have a wonderful Easter and that you all stay safe from Hit Chef Academy.